Hi, it's Hamish. Welcome once more to the Guitar Factory School. And I'd like to talk today about D string 7th chords. We've done the A string 7th chords, we've done E string 7th chords. This time I'd like to check out the D string 7th chords. If, now you might remember the other option if you know the other ones like that for a G major 7 or up here on the A string for a G major 7. Here's another one. So first finger on fret 5 on the D string, third finger bars across fret 7, fret 7, fret 7 on the G, B and E strings. And that gives you a D string G major 7. Of course it's movable, we could move it up. A tone it would be an A major 7, move it up. Another tone is a B major 7. So it's quite a nice option there. So you might have a chord progression like a 2-5-1, you might recall that from another session as well. 2-5-1, it goes to that, which is the G major 7 down there, but we could go... So it gives you more flexibility with the with the register there, okay, because we're going up to a higher sort of sound as opposed to down there, which is more lower. If we have the first finger there again, and the third finger where it was and the second finger now we're going to plonk on fret 6 on the B string and the pinky we're going to put on fret 7 on the top E string we've got a G7 so that's a good E2, that's a G7 right now here's another thing what we could do here we could go first finger third finger where they are, second finger where it is, but with the second finger roll it across and get the top E string with your second finger. So for some guys it's a bit tricky, I don't really find it that comfortable personally, but um, it's a standard way of playing it. You could just roll it across your second finger so it's playing both the fret 6 on the B string and the fret 6 on the top E string while your other fingers are there. That's a G minor 7 chord. Now the way that I, more often than not, I tend to go like this. I use my first finger, my pinky on fret 7 on the G string, my second finger on the B string on fret 6, and my third finger, I get that across to get the uh, the G minor 7 sort of shape like that. Okay, um, G half diminished or G minor 7 flat 5. First finger on fret 5 of course on the uh, D string because we're playing a G. The first finger, the, sorry, the third finger is rolling across fret 6 on the G, B and top E strings and that gives us that half diminished chord. The diminished 7th proper, first finger fret 5 D string, third finger fret 6 G string, second finger fret 5 B string, pinky fret 6 top E string. Okay. A way of drilling these is to run through a diatonic scale. So what that means is maybe if we're in the key of, let's do this in F perhaps, we could run through a harmonised F major scale, all the diatonic chords of F major, just using these chords here. Okay, so we'll kick it off with F major 7, then G minor 7, A minor 7, B flat major 7, C7, D minus 7, E half diminished, back to F major 7 again. I'll tap that out for you and if you go to the link you'll see what that is rather than me trying to explain where to put your fingers. But that's just a way of you know, getting these under your fingers so you can see where they are. 